For drawing partial circles, I'll use my arc tool. I have several different ways that I can draw arcs. First is a three-point arc. A three-point arc, I click the mouse once to establish one end of the arc, click again for the other end of the arc. I can drag for the direction of the arc, and then lastly, enter the radius. My three-point arc works well when I can establish the endpoints by using existing geometry and enter a known radius to establish the arc. My next arc tool is a tangent arc. This allows me to snap to an existing arc or to snap to an existing line and the arc that's created will be tangent to that existing entity. So with my constraints turned on I can see that this arc is tangent to that arc, this arc is tangent to that line. My third arc tool is a center point arc. I click once to establish the center point of the arc, click again for the start point, click again for the end point, and then I can enter the radius of the arc from the keyboard. My center point arc works well when I know the center point. I can snap the start and end points of the arc to existing geometry and enter a known radius. My last arc tool is conic. I would click once to establish the start and click again for the end point. I can drag for the direction and the size and then establish the row value 0.5 means my conic shape will be elliptical and a value less than 0.5 will mean that it's parabolic.